great and wonderful Biafran Bozai, 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 lovers of freedom across the world, my returning subscribers, even those who are watching without subscriptions, you guys are wonderfully awesome. May the Lord be with you all. I can only ask you if you're watching without subscription, please go ahead. It is free of charge. Smack the red button, click the notification bell. So whenever we upload, you'll be able to get notified. On this very particular video, you are going to see the atrocities of uh, Governor Ubuanyi of Enugu State who have turned the entire Enugu State into a private company of his family. From he himself to his brother, to the white brother and to everything in between my wonderful people is this how leadership supposed to function i thought that leadership supposed to function by merit not by who you know my people i want you to listen to this video and i want you to tell me what you think about it because we need to take our state back and kick out all these criminals in biafra land we are going to flush them And let me also inform you that the same Uche wife, the same Uguanyi, if Uche Uguanyi's wife is managing the local government account in Enugu State, the entire local government account in Enugu State is managed by Professor Uche Uguanyi's wife. Alenora Okoro, thank you for your super chat. I think. Alenora Okoro, thank you for it's great you lay bare these criminals in Biafra land. Thank you. Thank you very much for your super chat. We appreciate you. We are going to naked all of them, and after nakeding them, they will have no place to hide their nakedness. So, the Uguanyi, Professor Uche Uguanyi, is the one that controls the local government account. Not only that she controls the local government account, she also controls the account of the state university, the ESUT. The ESUT, she controlled the account of ESUT, Enugu State University of Science and Technology. Do you know about that? What I am telling you is not, uh, is not uh, you know, a, a, before I open my mouth and talk, <laughs> somebody says, I should sh stop calling him pro professor. <laughs> <laughs> so, just to stop calling me a professor. <laughs> so, so she did not. She doesn't only control these two accounts. She also controlled the account of Enugu State College, College of Education. This family affair. Uche's wife, who work in Fidelity Bank, controlled this account because they say. I should not call him professor. That is why we say they must question his uh, professorship because he's not qualified. I told Uguanyi that by the time I will go into exposing him, and that is exactly the way it is going to be. Still okay, okay, thank you for your super chat. We appreciate you. On behalf of my family, we say thank you. We appreciate you for supporting the page. Makambai bana, bai ga ban, ai bana mo. Nanyi na suku nsuka. Una, una afugia. No, obu, obu ki hale, obu ki hale, meli heke jemele mo. So, so, una afugia. 
Ude de Karabayana, the Afra Bukuf. Oye for a Muguanya, where I am seeing a gay pummy. Where can be no baby exposed? Where can be no baby exposed in a gay pummy? So, Mekuna, 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 no try me. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, Complete, complete one for. So, a woman can man a house. I know, I know, I know everywhere. If you are in Sukarala, Masia. Okay. If you are one of you know, how do I, how do I put it? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Let me be the way I put it in and cut up, cut it, put it, put it in, put it in. So now what I'm telling him, because I'm waking, I'm all on a hand, oh, I'm waking is maybe not on a hand, we have not. So I'm sorry, 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 I'm of what is to come to Uguanyi. So, having dropped and exposed this particular information to the public, it is now left for those who were directly affected by the criminality of Uguanyi and his cabinet to go after those that have collected their property and their landed property from them. And they, are want, they want to collect more money of almost seven, uh, three point seven million from them. So, on this note, we are going to stop the Umahi uh, Uguani here. Tomorrow, tomorrow we are also going to touch Uguani again. We are not going into the deep, the in-depth analysis yet. That the one that we is going to break the table. Once I make that exposition, I believe they will rush him to hospital. The day I'm going to make that exposition of Uguani, if they did not retrace and retract their step and, you know, the, 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 the return the landed property, because this is going to cost their head. I am telling you. People have come to know the people that collected their property. And they are going to go after them. And a Jimaka and a boom mado. Yesterday, like I was saying, I don't want anybody to call me, please. I told you also about the the candidate, the governor's candidate for vice chancellor of ASUT. Yesterday, the one they call Professor Aloysius. He's not qualified. As I was making the program yesterday that uh, they are going to give him executive interview in the government house. I didn't even know that as I was making the program, they have already they are already in the government house or already have interviewed him yesterday instead of today. So let me inform him that I am also aware that they have interviewed an incompetent professor called Professor Aloysius, who is not qualified to be a vice chancellor of Enugu State in order to bring our educational system down in Biafra land. When you go to Nigeria, if you go to Nigeria, you find out that when it comes to education, when other schools are scoring minus one, are scoring plus 10, 10 over 10. So you cannot be a professor who will know nothing about administrative system and how the education should go and how we should have a, a develop more uh, quality education and be innovative in our schools, at least the one we are still managing. Enugu State University of Science and Technology is one of the best in the Southeast. Mm -hmm. And for that reason, must be guided, protected with everything. And we are now protecting it. 
that that Aloysius can never ever, if you continue to push that Professor Aloysius to become the Vice Chancellor of Enugu State University of Science and Technology, when mm -hmm. everybody knows he's not qualified to do that, you are bringing doom. You are bringing, you are beginning, in fact, you are starting a, you know, crisis that it will never finish. We are not saying you should, uh, uh, you know, we are not saying that you should, uh, we don't, we are not saying that there is somebody you should put there. No, but let it be people that are qualified. There are professors, about 20 of them, about 20, those people that are qualified, you must interview them and give them the vice chancellor of Enugu State Science, uh, University of Science and Technology, not Professor Aloysius. The only reason that Uguanyi is fronting Professor Aloysius is to come there to protect his interest in winning the election to go to a uh, Senate. That is if Nigeria be a country, because all of them believe that they, are, they have blocked everywhere, they have arrested our leader, so for that reason they are going to conduct the election. So he is preparing to go for Senate to continue his criminality in Nigeria politics. And because when they say, come back and start doing this and start doing that, I am telling you today, we have IPP members, we have Biafra in your cabinet, in everywhere in Enugu state, we have taken over your cabinet. I am telling you the fact. We've taken over. There is no amount of sacking and dissolving your cabinet that will solve it. Believe me, the more you dissolve your cabinet, the more problem you get. So this is a direct information I'm giving you, a direct message. I have not come here to miss word. I have not come here to tell you, oh, uh, if you talk, they are going to know, they are going to sack people. They are going to, if you dissolve your cabinet in one jury, it's about injury. I am telling you. <laughs> Because if you dissolve your cabinet, even the one that we don't know, they will give it to me. That cabinet you are going to dissolve will give the information to me. So, onu apere gikita mwero popo anya abugo popo no gino no na apere ito inu 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 aso omagi inu omli omagi and there is no way you can avoid this popo. Until new weapon can new weapon we know offer. You still have opportunity. I am telling you, the opportunity you have is that you allow the governing council of the Enugu State University of Science and Technology to choose who is qualified to be the vice chancellor. Obuna. You also Thank you allow the people give the, the, the property back.